Greetings everyone and welcome back to another installment in the iWish series, a series in which I buy various questionable tech products from sites such as AliExpress, Wish and DHgate just to see if they're any good. Most of the time they're not, but sometimes we have received some decent stuff in the past. And if you haven't guessed by the title or the thumbnail, I've went and bought myself an iPhone 14 Pro Max clone from AliExpress for only $100. And this is all I can show for it here. Originally I hosted a live stream where I found this on AliExpress and a lot of you folks actually donated to see this. And we all question the legitimacy of this and I can tell you all now that the seller has been removed from AliExpress as well as the listing. Now when I actually received a tracking number for this I thought okay I might get something after all maybe it's just an error with the seller or something like that I'm not entirely sure and well today I received a parcel in the mail and I'm going to show you the iPhone 14 Pro Max clone that I bought off AliExpress for $100. Here's a bit of a problem. When I got the mail today, I was handed this and I've went, this is not an iPhone 14 Pro Max clone from AliExpress, is it? But it does feel like there's a phone in there. This was declared at customs as mobile phone cases covers. Yeah, as you can see, it is just what appears to be just a phone inside of this package. Let's see what we get then. With the whole AliExpress listing gone, the seller gone and everything like that, I'm not expecting too much, but here we go. Did I actually get it? I got an IP13 Pro. Okay, well, let's have a look here. Oh, all right. Well, here it is. Um, well, that's not even what I ordered. The 3rd of the 9th, which is probably when I ordered this. Okay, an iPhone 13 Pro. So it's not a 14 Pro. So we don't get the Dynamic Island or anything like that. And if you can kind of see, we have a notch right there with the front camera just there and that's about it. But we don't appear to have any bezels, which is kind of cool. This might be a high quality one. Going around the phone, the frame is entirely plastic. We have the mute, okay, that's not even a mute switch. That's just stuck there. Volume buttons, the SIM tray. At the bottom, we've got speaker grills and the lightning port. I think those screws are fake there, possibly. Nothing on that side except the power button. And at the top, nothing much going on there. It is a kind of nice colorway though. And the size, I would say, if this is a 10s Max and that's that, I would say this would be the size of a regular one, possibly. Not entirely sure. At least I got something though. At the back, we have a camera, another camera, and another camera. And I honestly can't tell which one's real or not. Uh, so that's a start. Let me pop out the SIM tray then. Ah, I appear to have found my problem. This is a fake unit. <laughs> I got duped. <laughs> when you try and buy a phone off AliExpress, <laughs> you don't even get a welcome, you know. Ah, that's good. This didn't really go <laughs> accordingly how I had expected it to go. That's the review done of the, <laughs> the iPhone 13 Pro Max off AliExpress. You're very welcome indeed. I guess I'm going to have to take this thing apart then. Probably says there display phone or something like that. All right, so it should just come apart like a normal iPhone, right? Easiest back glass replacement on an iPhone ever. Oh, the back's just plastic. Oh, that's fair. Okay, well, that just comes off like so. And there we go. Perfect. You know, I've always liked lead weights in devices. I've always wanted a bigger lead weight. There's the flash there. Oh, look, there's our camera system there. That's a very advanced camera system. Okay, let's get a look at this very big battery here. This is a rock solid battery right here. You know, it's made of metal, which is absolutely amazing. Like, you know, the power, the sheer power of this is just beyond anything ever. And now replacing the display of the device is fairly easy. You know, you can just casually flex it out. Now at this point in time, that is pretty much it. So I'll just go ahead and stick the battery back in. Just trying to stay optimistic here, you know. There we go. And I'll put the cameras back in. All right, and I've now lost the flash. Now I can put this back on here. 
perfect. It's back together. You'd never know that I've taken this apart. I am now going to contact AliExpress and let them know what I have received. If you have purchased a knockoff iPhone 14 Pro Max off AliExpress and you've got this, well, I mean, number one, this is why you shouldn't buy knockoff products because this is what would happen. With the amount of welcome phones I've actually bought over the past, it's amazing that 99.9% .9 of them have actually been legitimate. This is actually the first one that I've got that has not been legitimate, which is very surprising. Surprising. But as I said on stream, I bought it from a seller that had no feedback, no ratings, they had just joined, the price was too good to be true, for a knockoff anyways, the listing's gone, the seller's gone, everything's gone, so it kind of makes sense. But if I didn't buy it, I wouldn't have known. And do I need to remind everyone that people donated to see this? So I kind of feel bad for those people who did donate, you got to see this. If I do get my money back, I'll try and look for an actual proper knockoff this time, and then I can properly review it. I will splice in any notes during editing to let you know if I did get a refund via AliExpress or not. I think I will. All right, everyone. Well, um... That's going to do it for today's one. That was a very quick video, wasn't it? That was my in-depth review of the iPhone 14 Pro Max that I got off AliExpress for 100 bucks, and I got that instead. Did it actually come with anything else in there? No, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, feel free to let me know if you've been scammed on AliExpress before receiving something like this. This is the first time it's ever happened to me. And as I said, out of all the welcome devices I've ever purchased, I've received an actual phone, not a display unit. So for a first time, it ain't too bad. But anyways, folks, I'm going to leave it here because there's not much else I can say. But thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as I said, I'll leave any notes during the video to let you know if I did get a refund or not. But until the next time I see you again, please take care, stay safe, and be good people. And yeah, the next video will likely be me taking a look at some cheapo stuff, as usual. So until that next video, take care, and I'll see you next time. Alternative title of this video, S'mores Got Scammed on AliExpress. Big huge arrow, ghost emoji, some crying face, me looking sad, uh, a couple of some dollar signs there or something like that. That'll do. That's probably about worthy. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.